So let's talk about the modes of the major scale, some of the most important scales to have in your toolbox. Now in order to avoid beating a dead bush, since there are countless videos on YouTube talking about the modes of major, linked below, this video will simply aim to introduce the scales, the ways that I think about them or access them, and several examples as they apply to film scoring specifically, in a very digestible format. I won't be explaining what I think they sound like, or what moods I think they create, I think I can leave that for you to come to your own conclusions on. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the first mode of the major scale, the Ionian mode, which is just a fancy term for what is commonly known as the major scale. Now since you probably know this scale like the back of your foot, the two examples I have, both from John Williams, are the theme from Raiders and the theme from E.T. pretty simple scale, and one that I know without even thinking about it. The next scale, called the Dorian mode, is the second mode of the major scale. The way I most commonly think about it is a major scale with a flat 3 and flat 7. Although you could also think of it as using the notes of the major scale that's down a whole step. So if you want C Dorian, use the notes from the B flat major scale. If you want G Dorian, use the notes from the F major scale. The first example of the Dorian mode comes from Thomas Newman's American Beauty. Another example comes from the cue lighting the beacons from Lord of the Rings The Return of the King by Howard Shore. Next is the Phrygian scale. It's the third mode of the major scale. And I would think of it as a major scale with a flat 2, flat 3, flat 6, and flat 7. Or you could also think of it as using the notes of the major scale, a major third down from the given scale. So a C Phrygian scale would use the notes of an A flat major scale, and an F Phrygian scale would use the notes of a D flat major scale. The example for this scale comes from Howard Shore's Fellowship of the Ring, the opening cue, Prologue. And next up, we've got the Lydian scale. It's the fourth mode of the major scale, and one that is very closely associated with the Hollywood sound. The easiest way to think about it, in my mind at least, is a major scale with a sharp four. Or you could, of course, think of it as using the notes from the scale a perfect fourth below the given scale. The notes of a C Lydian scale would use the notes of a G major scale, and the notes of an A Lydian scale would use the notes of an E major scale. The first example for this scale comes from the main theme from Back to the Future by Alan Silvestri. Another example also comes from the main theme for E.T. And yet, another example comes from John Williams' The Mission Theme. Oh, and let's not forget the Columbia Pictures theme. Next, we've got the Mixolydian scale, the fifth mode of the major scale. I most often think about it as a major scale with a flat 7, or you could also think about it as using the notes from the scale a fifth below the given scale. 
C mixolydian uses the notes from F major, and B flat mixolydian uses the notes of E flat major. The first example comes from John Williams' Desert Chase Cue from the Raiders. The characteristic flat 7 is mostly in the harmony, but I think the sound is still there. The next example comes, yet again, from Thomas Newman's American Beauty. Next, let's go with the Aeolian scale, more commonly known as the minor scale, and the sixth mode of the major scale. Although you could think of it as a major scale with a flat 3, flat 6, and flat 7, this is also one that I know without giving it a third thought. The most obvious example for this scale comes from John Williams' Force Theme. Of course, this isn't the only example of a minor scale, as it is incredibly ubiquitous in music in general. The next and last scale in this list is the Locrian scale, the seventh mode of the major scale. The way I would think about it is that every note besides the root and fourth is flattened. Or you could also think of it as using the notes from the scale a half step above the given scale. C Locrian would use the notes of D flat major, and E Locrian would use the notes of F major. Now, I actually don't have any examples for this scale. It's pretty scarce in popular music to begin with, and I just couldn't think of any film score examples. Even in the book Hollywood Harmony, which helped me with a lot of the examples for this video, the word Locrian doesn't even appear once, and doesn't even appear in its glossary of abbreviations. So, unless you awesome people commenting down below have an example, I, uh, I got nothing for this scale. But anyway, I realize this video doesn't even scratch the surface on all the aspects of the modes of major, because, like I said earlier, there's already plenty of documentation on the subject here on YouTube, and I simply wanted to gear this toward younger aspiring composers, like myself, who are looking for very practical ways to expand their harmonic toolbox. So, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in my education, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit goes a long way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.